so good morning class i am going to teach new chapter congruency of triangles so in junior classes we have studied about congruency so first we recap it we take a recap first so what is the meaning general meaning of congruency so congruency means exact replica it means same size and same shape okay i think it is clear to you we have studied in junior classes <clears throat> now we come to the very basic thing if i make a line segment a b this is line segment ab this is of 5 cm and second line segment cd of same length 5 cm so both ab and cd are congruent suppose i make a an angle <clears throat> suppose angle is A O B sixty degree and same measurement C M D sixty degree. So I will say both angles A O B and angle C M D. Are congruent. Okay, so it is clear to you. I think so. This is very very basic thing. Now we come to the triangle part. Suppose two triangle. A, B, C, and triangle. p q r so what i say this is 3 cm this is 4 cm and this is 5 cm similarly here p q is 3 cm q r is 4 cm and r p is 5 cm and i say and i say this is a congruent congruent so by congruency because i can say this side this side equal 4 cm here 4 cm equal and 5 cm here 5 cm so by correspondence we can say that ab is corresponding to so so first of all we must know vertices correspondence of vertices first so here a vertex b vertex and c vertex so vertex a is correspondence to you can see this a is between Three and four, and here Q is between three and four, so A is correspondence to Q. Very important. Here B is between three and five centimeters, and here P is between three and five centimeters. So B correspondence to P. 
and the rest is C correspondence to R. Now we get to know A correspondence to Q point, B correspondence to P point, and C correspondence to R. This is the basic and most important thing. This is a building block. Now, if I come to the sites, AB, then BC, and CA. So by correspondence, we can say AB. So A is Q and B is P. So Q, P. So AB correspondence to QP. Now BC. B is P and C is R. So BC correspondence to P, R. Now C, A. C is correspondence to R and A is correspondence to Q. So we'll write R, Q. Don't write Q, R. That will be wrong because incongruency order does matter. Orders is very important in congruency. So CA will be RQ. Important concept. Remember it. Similarly, angle wise, if I say angle BAC correspondence to, you can see easily. B is P, so write P, angle P. A is Q, so write Q. C is R. So angle BAC corresponds to angle PQR. And remember, don't write RQP. RQP will be wrong. So angle will be angle BAC corresponds to angle PQR. Now angle ABC. So A is Q, so angle B is P and C is R. Similarly, angle A, C, B. Now you can easily tell me A is Q, C is R and B is P. So look how Easy it is. You must know first vertices, correspondence of vertices. If you get to know this, you can find out any correspondence. This is a major confusing thing. A student get confused by it. So I think it is clear to you now. Now I come to the Criteria. Criteria means rules to find triangles congruent. So there, there are certain rules or criteria we can say. First criteria is S S S. So here S S S means side, side, and side. Second one is side S A S side angle. Angle means Included angle. You can write included angle and side. Third one is A S A is angle included side and again angle. Fourth is Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, 
and joining side. And the fourth and the last fifth one is RHS. It is applicable to right angle triangle. It is applicable to right angle triangle. So here R means the right angle. H means hypotenuse and S is one of the sides, one of the side. So let's take example. Suppose first I take our SSS side, side and side. So here I take two triangle A, B, C and triangle P, Q, R. So if I make it, suppose this is six centimeter, this is eight centimeter and this is 10 centimeter. Here I make it, this is eight centimeter this is six centimeter and this is 10 centimeter. So we can see that side AB is equal to here side QR. BC equal to side CQ and AC to side PR. So you can see corresponding sides of one triangle is equal to the corresponding side of the other triangle. So we can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle. Now, again, we must know what is A correspondence B correspondence and C correspondence. So A is, you can see, A is between six and 10. Here, R is, R point is six and between six and 10. So A is correspondence to R. And B is between six and eight. Here, B, Q is between six and eight. So Q is correspondence to B. And the remaining R is correspondence to, sorry, P is corresponding to C. Now, our half work is done. So we can easily write A is R and B is Q and C is P. So look, order does matter. So in congruency, order is important. So be aware of it and be vigilant about it. Thank you, thank you very much.